Here we have a beautiful red 1960 Ford F100 uh, custom cam. See there. Really solid. The paint job on this thing's not too great. Something to write home about. Um, let's see. I can undo some of these snaps so you guys can see inside. He's got some stuff in here, but it's a very clean bed. You'll be able to see from the underneath. It's very clean. The restoration on this, it is a bit old, but it was very well done. So let's go ahead and take a peek on the inside, and I'll see if I can try to get another video of the trunk or the bed. Heading on in. Door panels are in good condition. Car hasn't really been redone. It's got the tweed. Ugh. Floors are good. Other wall is good. As well as the passenger seat headliners in good condition too. And I will have a video on this, but the blinkers work and the um, backup lights work as well. All gauges appear to be functional. He's also he even put cruise control on this. Aftermarket stereo, and it's got some AC, which blows nice and cold. Let's go ahead and take it for a spin. One. Let's go ahead and crank it up. Nice strong start. Something that I failed to mention is it has power windows that work magnificently, as well as the other side. And one thing I also forgot to mention is it does have RPMs and almost like a modern day eco. So it shows your Miles per out, uh, miles per gallon and stuff. So let's go ahead. Let's take it for a spin. It's got a worked over 351 Windsor in it. It's got a lot of power. Drives great right though. Power steering is nice and loose, nice and responsive. Brakes work nicely as well. So let's go ahead and we'll put it up on the lift for you guys. And uh, show you the under, uh, underneath as well as the engine. So before we uh, actually get it up into the air, I want to show you guys the blinkers. So John, they are functioning and we'll go ahead and uh, make our way around back as well. We have the left hand blinking and the right hand. And John, go ahead and put it in reverse for us. And we do have our reverse lights as well. So let's go ahead and put it up in the air and take a peek. So it's a hot day in Florida. We got the fan to kick on this bad boy. It's something that's interesting because he actually installed a manual cutoff. So just for the video, I'll go ahead and leave that off. But here we go. We got our 351. Got some good mods. It's got a holly carb on it. We got power steering, power brakes, AC, the works. And he's got a brand new spanking new battery in there. Really helps the car get its umph it needs to start. So let's go ahead and put it up in the air. So you guys can see the undercarriage. All right, we finally got up in the air. The fan is still off. Underneath, we're gonna see our power disc. And down below, very good condition. Mainly surface rust from everything that I saw. But very solid, both sides. No hollowing out. got rear drum but a solid car or tipped exhaust as well so I go ahead and give you guys the turtle look the chrome on this car is pretty pretty darn good especially the tires kind of that turtle eye and after this when I get it back down to ground level I'll actually show you guys the inside of the bed because that is very clean I mean, look at this chrome too. It looks great. So no issues really. Solid car. Let's check the door jams. You can see that there's not any rust or erosion. Same with under the door. Uh, I'm just gonna just close this, I guess. Very nice. Quarters are in good condition. Fenders are in good condition. And all around, it's a very solid truck. All right, got it down. He does have some personal items in there, but he's got the spare. But I really want to draw your attention to the wood. Finish is still on. 
it's not roading away or getting chewed out, so it's very solid. So let's go ahead and actually crank her up and pull her off the lift for you guys. 